Hi everyone, I'm Bart Bedsell. I'm in the KRDO News Studios right now and I am wearing a life jacket. This weekend is Father's Day. Sunday is the busiest day of the year at state parks here in Colorado. That combined with the fact that we have seen a number of tragedies just in the last month on the water here in southern Colorado has led us to kind of partner up with Colorado Parks and Wildlife to really raise some awareness about the importance of wearing a life vest like this. We have Joey Livingston with Colorado Parks and Wildlife here to kind of take us through a couple of the options that people have when hitting the water this summer. Talk about the one that you're wearing right now. Uh, well, this is just the life jacket or personal flotation device. Um, so this is, uh, you know, required on every um, boat that's out on the water, even paddle boards, kayaks. Um, so you need to at least have one on board. We recommend that you would wear it um, at all times if you're on or near the water. You've got a couple things attached to yours, as do I. Let's talk about those. This is a storage container and this is a whistle, right? Correct. So uh, this is just a storage container. You can keep, you know, your fishing license or any other um, important stuff in there. Um, also, you can keep your keys on there. So if you lose your keys, um, they'll float and you'll be able to find them. They won't sink. Uh, we also have a whistle here or sound producing device. Um, so this is required on every boat as well to have that with you. Um, it's just a safety requirement there. Um, if you are out on the water, you know, um, Lake Pueblo has 60 miles of shoreline. That is a very big lake. You need something that's going to be able to draw attention to yourself. So um, we keep this clipped right here so that if you do fall in the water, you can blow this whistle and draw attention to yourself um, so safety crews can get out. There. Despite the size, it's a pretty good noisemaker. Yeah. Um, so you've got the ideal vest on. This is great for all situations. Mine's a bit different, um, and I think this might be good for fat people like myself that do a lot of maybe bending over and paddling in particular. Talk about the difference between between what you're wearing and, and what I'm wearing? Uh, well, yours is a little slimmer. Um, you know, it'd be ideal for maybe a, a kayaker or a fisherman uh, that needs a little bit more mobility to be able to cast a fishing pole or, or use a paddle or oar. Uh, mine is probably a little more safe. It's got a little more buoyancy there. It's gonna help keep you up higher in the water and uh, give rescue crews more time. To find. There's obviously a lot of options. We wanna talk about one more real quickly, and this is a bit more high end. Maybe this will cost somewhere between 50 and, and $200, depending on all the bells and whistles that you want. This is even, I guess, less restrictive. I don't wanna say restrictive, because these are what we're wearing is fine, but talk about the difference between this one and what you and I are wearing. Yeah, well, it is a little more slim. So, you know, for a full day out on the water, it's pretty hot. You know, having that will allow more airflow and cool you off a little bit. Um, so this is an inflatable, um, a life jacket here, type four or type five um, personal flotation device. Um, it's got a little handle here, so if you do fall in the water, you yank this right there and it'll inflate um, all around. It gets easier and easier. This is super comfy if you just don't want the feel of a life jacket. You have brought a couple other toys here that I want to talk about. We've gone over the storage container and the whistles. This is a signal horn. Talk about uh, the importance of something like this. Yeah, that's just a, a um, another example of a sound producing device for emergency situations on the water. Um, if you're stuck out there or need a, need assistance, um, blast that thing. It's going to draw a lot of attention um, and be able to get uh, other boaters attention and rescue crews attention um, so they can come out and help you. Um, we've also got a um, fire extinguisher there. Um, would recommend that on any boat that is gas powered. Um, so you, the, you're saying recommend, but let's be clear. Yeah. When is a fire extinguisher required on a boat here in Colorado? Well, it'd be required on any boat that uh, the engine is on board. So an inboard, outboard, or inboard um, engine is stored on the boat. Fire happens there. You're going to need a fire extinguisher to put that. You touched on this earlier, but I want to be really, really clear because I'm sure there's a lot of people that think, well, if I've got a couple life jackets on the boat, yeah. just sitting in a corner, I'm covered. How many life jackets do you need in a boat? And does anyone have to wear them at all times on the boat? Um, so um, you need a life jacket um, on board available for every adult. Don't keep it uh, in any storage compartments and under a seat, you know, an emergency situation, things are happening fast. Um, you're gonna need it available right there. That's why we would recommend wearing them at all times. Um, children 13 years and under are actually legally required to wear their um, life jacket. 13 and times. under, wearing a life jacket at all times. At all times, yes. Can't, can't, can't say that enough. 34 drownings, a record in 2020, 2021, maybe not so bad. 2022, we're on a record pace to break that record from 2020 for the number of drownings here in Colorado. Very sad statistic. Any closing thoughts or other tips you want to pass along for folks that might have plans to hit the water this weekend? You know, when you're out on the water, we want you out there. We want you having fun. Uh, but just understand that uh, water is dangerous. Um, you need to take it very seriously when you're out there. So uh, we you know, have a life jacket um, on at all times if you are on or near the water.
Joey Livingston, Colorado Parks and Wildlife, thanks for being here. Final thought, folks, if you're looking for a gift for your dad for Father's Day, he's got enough ties. I know I do. Give him a life jacket. He won't regret it. And quite frankly, if you're giving someone a life jacket, you're kind of saying, hey, dad, let's go to more boating. And you know he's going to love that. If you're hitting the water this weekend, please be safe. We don't want you to be our next top story here at KRDO News Channel 13.